Okay, my name is Attila Gibson, and I have perfected my 3-watt tattoo removing laser. Um, I'm going to teach you how to build it, and I'm willing to assemble these for a fee, if you wish. And uh, so here we go. This is what we're building. Uh, this is a 3-watt, 808 nanometer laser. Uh, with a focal point set exactly to here, uh, a culminating lens. Here is the diode itself. This is basically half inch PVC. Culminating lens is here, and I used um, epoxy putty AB part mix to set it in here, center it exactly. Um, this is a 3 watt diode. This is a heat sink that I put together using one of those cooling fans I had. Um, buy a TO3 heat sink, get a bolt right onto it. Use heat sink paste. And here's the power supply that I use over here. Here is the power for the power supply. Here's the diode driver. Here is the TO3 heat sink. Here is the TO3 diodes, and most importantly, the safety glasses so you don't be blind. Okay, um, basically I'll kind of run quickly through how the pieces go together. Um, you'll see here, one second, put the cap back on here to protect it. Here's the power supply. And here's the trigger switch. Basically, it's a momentary on, spring-loaded off, trigger switch. Real quick, I'll show you how this thing works. The laser responds to black or dark inks and is reflected or absorbed away from things white. So, let me show you real quick. Let me zoom in. Where's the zoom on this thing? Here it is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try doing all this in one video because I am as impatient as you are. And I hate going to two videos. So bear with me. So here's a white piece of paper. Yada yada. You're hitting your tattoo. Nothing there. Hit the tattoo. Wham. See what it does right to the tattoo? So it's on. Hits that tattoo. See nothing on the paper. It hits that tattoo. So what it does is it fragments that tattoo ink instantly. So the body can absorb it. And I'm doing this video for people who cannot afford the outrageously stupid prices that they have for a tattoo removal. And uh, if you don't know what you're doing, please don't try to build one of these by yourself. It is dangerous. Okay, so let me run through the parts list real quick. Here, first is the power supply. Let me zoom out real quick. Here's the power supply for the diode driver. This power supply is a 5 volt DC 3 amp power supply. Basically, you plug it in the wall. Simple. Here is the actual driver unit for the diode. The fan comes with it. The fan needs to be moved over to this side and taped on so the air blows through it. This driver is a 780 to 1064 nanometer. 2 by 2.5 amps 5 volt DC input. So don't get confused. 5 volts is not what goes to the diode. And when you put the momentary trigger switch on the unit, do not put it on the diode circuit. Make sure you put it on the input power voltage circuit. You will not need the TTL circuit on this driver unless you want to trigger it with 3 volts. So it's up to you. And I'm, I'll be as as explanationably possible about this so you can do what you can to get it done correctly. Um, the heat sink basically it goes on the back of the diode. These are still in the package. I don't I want to keep them clean. There's two of them here. This is what actually does. This is the business end of the whole thing. These are pricey. But basically take one of these heat sink will go on the back. You want to take CPU thermal paste to go on the back of here to help the heat transfer go through. Okay, so that goes on there. This is a piece of PVC 
connector pipe that I got at Lowe's and basically it's just the right size to slip over here and then you epoxy this on so now it's in place. Once that's in place you take the piece that's on there with the diode which would normally be here then you take PVC pipe half inch sand it down so it fits in there nice so you can adjust in and out okay now the culminating lens that you use make sure it's 808 nanometer rated make sure it can handle three watts of output so you don't crack it or fry it and uh, take the um, I got this white epoxy putty paste and uh, you can get it at a hardware store you mix it together you knead it with your fingers and it takes a while and it gets hard what I did was I used that to fill the space and while it's starting to harden take it and unscrew the lens a little bit keep the threads cracked loose when it gets almost hard you can crack it loose so later on after it hardens completely you can actually screw it in and out okay for fine adjust focusing if you want all right and then obviously this cap fits nicely to cover everything and protect it like I did on this one now this is very very important with this lens being so close to the diode oh another thing about this diode order it with a square beam sealed lens this thing has a lens built into this casing which gives it a square beam all right make sure you have that with it all right what's important that this this guide right here is set exactly to a focal point where the dot is the smallest and the tiniest and the hottest you want to get that ink as hot as possible as quickly as possible this one is not the same as the one you've seen on the videos before it's very powerful and heat management is a real issue you want to basically put an ice pack on the tattoo get it nice and cold where it kind of feels numb and it's uncomfortable pull it off and you want to expose and hit one two three four five and then you want to let go put the ice pack back on immediately every five seconds of exposure put the ice pack back on you want the ink to get the heat but you don't want the surrounding tissue to get hit with heat okay so if you can pull the heat away from surrounding tissue immediately after and you're good to go so anyways that's pretty much it other than the most important safety thing you could possibly uh, have is these glasses please don't blind yourself spend the 50 bucks for the glasses get the pink ones because they're easier to see through while you're working okay so real quick running out of time 5 volt DC power supply um, diode driver 10, 780, 1064, 2.5 amp, 5 volts DC, TO3 heat sink, TO3 laser diode, 808 nanometers. Here's all the specs on that. You can freeze the frame or whatever. All right. And I think that's it. I pretty much covered it. And uh, like I said, very importantly, this will burn your skin. Use the safety glasses. Do this at your own risk. If you wish to contact me, it's GIB. S-O-N-A-T-T-I-L-A -A at yahoo.com. So enjoy and uh, remove your tattoos and uh, go on with life. Thank you.